Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we will try to make a simple Spring code application on NetBeans. So again when you want to learn Spring framework, first of all we start with XML configuration then we move towards annotation configuration and if you see my play, I do have a playlist on Spring which starts with XML and it, which goes to annotations all the way. But then I have done that on Eclipse IDE. I wanted to demonstrate that how can we do that on NetBeans. Now some of, some of the universities they use NetBeans for their IDE and that's why I'm making this up this video for NetBeans. Now what we, what we will do is if you want to understand if you want to understand from start to end how Spring works you can check out my playlist I will I will give the disc, I mean I will give the link in the description area. Okay if you already know how to do that in Eclipse let's try to do that in NetBeans. So for that, first of all, you have to install NetBeans, uh, NetBeans 8.1, 8.2, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, it will work on all the uh, IDEs. Now, if you create a new project, so when you create a new project, so just select Java here and say new because we are making next uh, because we are making a simple application. So simply click on next and we'll name this application as Spring Demo. Again, you can name it anything you want and then we'll click on finish. Now you can see we got a Java project here with a main function. Now what I want here is, okay, first of all, let me just increase our fonts as you could. So what I want here is I want to add Spring libraries. Now again, Spring is basically a framework, right? And there's lots of advantages of using a framework. It makes your work easy, uh, especially if you're making a big application. See, for small application, it doesn't make sense. You know, you can simply write hello. If you want to write hello world, if you want to add two numbers, you don't need to use Spring framework. But then when you make a big application, let's say enterprise application with multiple services, like you want to handle transactions, you want to implement security. In that case, Spring Framework will make more sense. It will make your work easy. So there are lots of advantages of using this. But why not for a small application? Because when you use an, uh, you, when you use a framework, you have to use some external JAR files. You have to do some configuration. I know it's a one-time job, but then people find it difficult to do that. So yes, if you are going for a new framework, of course you have to do some configuration, but then you have to do that only once, right? Uh, otherwise you have just have to use it. So what we will do is of course you have to do some configuration, but we will do that on the go. We will do the configuration as of, as of when they require. What I'm going to do here is I'm trying to make a simple application or very, very simple code where I will create a class called as alien. So I will say uh, right click and I love alien. So I will say Java class and we'll name this as class as alien. And in this class alien, I just want a method, a simple method here. And I will name that method as public void show. And this is where you will show your skill set. So you are an alien. Okay, that is for uh, Eclipse. Yeah, so you are an alien and you have to, you have to demonstrate your skill set and you can simply say, hello world, right? And you can print whatever you want. You can print, uh, you can, you can showcase your skills, how many technologies you know, uh, which technology you're currently working on. So you can demonstrate that here. Now, once you have this alien class, what I want is I want to call that show method from here. And as you know, whenever you want to call a method, the first thing we need here is an object because without object, we cannot do that. Again, I, till this point, I have, I'm not using Spring anywhere. So this simple class, I, I will say alien a1 equal to new alien. And this is my first alien. I will say a1 dot show. Now this will work, right? Because we have done a, such a simple code. So you can see we got hello world. That's not the issue. Now, what the issue here is, whenever you create object by yourself, this is not a good way. Especially if you talk about the enterprise world, they use uh, multiple objects and sometimes we, we want to use single object or you can say single ten design pattern. Or uh, we can also, we also want to use factory design pattern where you want the object to be created by someone else. And that's where Spring Framework comes into picture because Spring has this module called as Spring IOC, which is inversion of control where you will not get the object. Spring, Spring Framework will give you the object. Let's see how, how, how we can do that. Again, I'm not be using XML based configuration here. I'll be using annotation based configuration just to show you how to do that on NetBeans. So I will remove this and here, okay, so I don't want object to be created by, uh, by, by, by a programmer. So I will say Spring do it for me. But to use this, we have to create object of uh, interface called as application context because this is where this is how you will configure your application so we'll say application context because spring has its own container to work with so to use that container we have to get object of application context but unfortunately if you can see we are not getting application context 
application context is a part of Spring Framework. So of course you will not get it by default, right? To make it work, you have to add some libraries. And you can see on the left hand side, we don't have much libraries there. Only one library is there, which is itself JDK itself. What we want is we want to add the libraries for Spring. Now, how do we do that? Uh, normally we have to add some, some jar files. You have to go to Google, download those jar files by yourself and you can do that. Otherwise, you can simply right click and you can go to properties. There's an option of library here. So when you go to libraries, there's an option of add library. Just click on this and select Spring. Now NetBeans is such an awesome IDE. It provides you all the jar files which you need, all the dependencies which you need. So I just I simply want Spring framework here. Now if you if you go for Spring MVC, we can choose this one. If you want to go for Spring ORM, we don't have a choice there. But yes, uh, enough. We are, we are good with Spring framework 4.0.1. Click on add library and then click on OK. Now you can see we got all the jar files required by Spring Framework. As you can see, we got all the jar files required. So we don't have to add anything by ourselves. That's awesome, right? And that's why NetBeans is one of the one of the best IDE in the market other than Eclipse and IntelliJ. So I will say control space. The moment I do that, you can see we got the we got the packages. Let's go with the first one. So I will, I will say application context context. That's my reference name. Okay, okay. We'll say context equal to. Now here, if you want to create an object, now first of all, application context is an interface. So of course, we have to use a class to create an object. So the class which implements application context is annotation, annotation uh, annotation config application context. Okay, so this is what you have to use. Now, depend upon what type of configuration you are using, you have to change this class. Example for XML, we normally use class path XML application context. And we use annotation config, uh, annotation config application context for annotation based configuration. That sounds good. I will simply say a one dot show, but it, it, it will not work, right? Of course. So you have to do that. You have to say context dot. Now you will say, hey, Spring Framework, I want object of alien. So you will simply say get bean because all the components or all the objects inside Spring Frameworks are basically called as beans. So I will say, hey, I want an object of alien dot class. Now, okay, we are doing that. Now, will it work? The thing is, I'm I'm asking my Spring Framework, hey, Spring Framework, just give me the object of alien. Uh, because since we are using Spring Framework, it should work, right? But the moment I run that, the moment I run this code, you can see we got an error. It is not working because it, it says, hey, you are using Spring Framework. That's great. But then Spring Framework is not Rajnikant to know everything. What you have to provide is, or okay, if you are confused with Rajnikanth, if you are from out of out of India, uh, okay, so you can imagine Superman. So Spring Framework is not a Superman to do everything, right? So you have to configure your Spring Framework for that. And to do the configuration, what you have to do is you have to get a new class here. And now this class is for configuration. So I will call this class as app config because I'm configuring my application. You can name this class anything you want, but I love this name app config. And this class need to be annotated with add config or add, add the rate config. So you have to say configuration. Yeah, so you have to say add the rate configuration at the top of it. And this class will implement or this class will have method. So this class will have a method which is called as uh, get alien. So this class returns an alien object. And we can simply say return a new alien right so we can do this so by so we just have to mention application or app configure app config dot class so what we are doing is we are informing our application hey i have created the application config i mean app config as a class in which i'm configuring my beans so if a user wants alien object you can do that but don't you think again we are writing new keyword here that's not good right because if you have multiple classes if you have 10 classes you have to write this you have to create 10 method 10 uh, 10 methods for those 10 classes if you have 100 classes you have to get 100 methods that doesn't make sense right so we can remove that and uh, what we can do is on top of alien so we used to do that before before coming to the the, the, the example which i'm doing now is a recent recent one but before that people used to do that so what we have to do is on top of every class with whatever you want an object, you can simply write component. So on top of every class, just write component. So we have an alien here and we have to mention component. By writing component there, we are, men we are mentioning, hey, Spring Framework, this is actually a Spring Bean. So anyone wants an uh, uh, alien object, you can simply pass it. 
that sounds good right but then here you have to mention one more annotation which is called as component scan i know there are lots of annotations but then initially you will find it difficult but don't worry once you start using it it's damn easy thing uh, so initially I used to I used to do all these things by looking at my code so we I used to have a written notes but then now since I have done this a lot of time uh, I know so you can try this out practice more and you will remember all the annotations so yes we have a uh, add component annotation so all the classes if you want alien just write add component if you want if you want to configure if you want to configure so this app config is a configuration class just write configuration on top of it this, this specifies that you are doing configuration and write add component which will mention which will mention the package name so you have to mention the package where you have all the components you can see the package name is spring demo in which you have a component now this should work let's try so if I run this code oh you can see that we got hello world it's that simple you might be thinking we could have done that with new keyword right and that's right you could have done that with the help of normal new keyword and new alien but then this when you be, when you make a big application uh, let's say if your application has 50 60 classes then this will make more sense and sometimes you know you also have a concept of interfaces right so normally what we do is we create a reference of interface and we create object of a class just to give you a demonstration of that what i will do here is i will go back i will i will go back here and i will just create a simple class and i will name this class or not a class but an interface I will I will rename rename that class to interface, but then I want to create an interface which is called as computer. Okay, so just to because every alien will have a computer, right? So okay, when I say alien, I'm talking about you people, programmers. So let's say we have a class or we have an interface. So let me just rename this to interface. We have a interface computer. An interf computer will have some features. You can show the you can show the config. So you can say public void uh features right so every computer has a features but then we will declare we will be declaring it we are not defining it so let's make it a declaration now a uh, alien will have a computer right of course every alien need, need to have a computer so i will say private uh, private what computer so alien has a computer or i will say comp okay it's that simple we can create a reference you you, you can create a reference here and then for this reference we need uh we need getter setters so i will say generate getter setters for this computer let's click on generate and you can see we got this to uh, we got a getter and we got a setter and that's quite simple now once we have done with that once we have created these two methods which is getter and setter okay now till this point this uh, we, we are not using spring framework right we are simply we are simply doing some code here now what i want from you is i want to understand from you in show if i if i print hello world and if i print comp dot uh, what uh, com dot features because i want so i want to know which features they use so what i will do is i will so what do you what do you think if i run this code will it work let's try so the moment i run this code you can see we got error which is with our favorite error which is null pointer exception and obviously right because you are simply creating a reference of computer you are not creating an object of a computer right and Till this point you don't have an object it will not work so how do i create object of computer here and first of all computer is a is an interface we can't even do that so what you do is first step you have to create a reference we have to create a class which implements computer so i will say this class as laptop of course right laptop implements computer because laptop is also a computer i will click on finish and this laptop implements computer and this should have that method so i will simply say click here and say implement all the methods and the method name is features and i don't want to throw any, er any error here okay so here i will print uh okay which what configuration i have let's say i3 machine so i3 2 gb ram and 500 gb hard drive okay let's let's go for that configuration Okay, so this is my laptop and now what we, we can do is how can you assign this laptop? So how can you assign the object of laptop to alien? Now, first of all, as I mentioned, all the classes need to have component on top of it. Right, so we can write add component. And then, so once we got this laptop and we got this alien, what do you think? If I run this code, will it work? Of course, it will not work is because the computer. So in this alien, the computer is, is not assigned to laptop yet. So what we normally do is we before calling show, 
we should be creating object of a laptop here so we'll say laptop l1 equal to con context dot get bean and you can say uh, what a laptop laptop dot class right and you will get the object and here you can say a1 dot and you can say set computer and you're setting a lap computer as la l1 laptop so which computer you have you have a laptop right with 2 gb ram and all those configuration now if you run this code you can see it works you can see it works so there is one way so this is one way the another way is what you can do is you don't have to mention any object here you don't have to do all the setup by yourself you can ask spring framework to do that and you can do that just by writing at auto wired the moment you write at auto wired your spring framework is so smart that it will uh, it will get the object for you so it's, let, let me just run this code and you can see it still works so instead of right, instead of getting object of laptop by yourself or doing that stuff you can do it automatically and if you see this code of alien nowhere we are talking about laptops can you see that alien has a computer doesn't matter is it a laptop or a desktop right now with this let me give you one more thing what if you have uh, a class which is uh, uh, a desktop because computer is also i mean desktop is also a computer right so let's say desktop and of course this desktop will implement uh, okay this desktop will implement a computer and of course even this should have those methods which is this one let me remove this extra thing from here yeah and this will print so of course a desktop will have a good configuration let's say i7 16 gb ram and 2 tb hard drive so that's the configuration of of this desktop now let's say someone says hey i don't want a laptop i want a desktop so what you can do is on top of this desktop you can say add component because every class need to be a component okay now what what we are doing is for a computer so for the computer we have two candidates we have a laptop and we have a desktop so let's say at, at your at your home you have both the machines you have a laptop and you have a desktop now if you run this code it will be it will give you that that confusion hey you are you are having two things can you see that the error here it says uh s expected single matching bean but found two can you see that it says expect a single matching bean but found two so we have to provide only one instance right so there's a confusion so even alien is not able to figure it out which computer you want in that case you can simply use and so let's say if you want to play a game of course you will give priority to desktop right so what you can do is you can write add primary so it's all about annotation so when you the moment you say add primary to desktop in case of confusion this will get the higher priority and if you run this code uh, you can see we got 17 i7 and 8 uh, 16 gb ram so this is where desktop is getting the priority but what if an uh, alien want to decide hey i don't want to give priority to desktop i want to give priority to laptop you can do that so it, at the alien point itself you can give add qualifier and you can mention hey i wanted a i wanted a laptop here so we can write simply small in small you have to mention laptop so that l should be small you have to remember that and now if you run this code, uh, you can see laptop is getting the preference. So if you want to give the preference from the class side, you can write add, add primary. And if you want to give the preference from the alien side, you can write add qualifier. Again, I will be making a detailed video. If you want to find detailed videos, we do, have, we do have a playlist there. But this is where I'm trying to do all this thing in one particular video so that it will be easier for you to, uh, I mean, recap or what you say, revise so yeah so you can do that with add qualifier we have talked about uh, at 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 primary right we have so we have all these annotations to use in fact there are some more configuration but you can see that in in the other videos so yes that's the power of spring framework if you can see we are not getting object by ourselves we are asking free spring framework to do it and that too we are using singleton design pattern by default so in total, you have only one object. You're not getting multiple objects. And that's the beauty. Okay. So yeah, that's it about this video. We've talked about Spring Framework on, on NetBeans. I'm also planning to make a video on Spring AOP on NetBeans. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you like my videos, do click on the like button and do share. Thank you so much for watching.